Rihanna's new Beach Please line. If you guys want to see swatches of these new Summer Nights lip glosses as well as this new Kilowatt highlighter, just keep watching. Okay guys, so I was trying to switch up my intro a little bit. Hopefully you guys did enjoy that. Let me know. Everyone always starts with hi guys, so I was inspired by Jen Love's reviews and hopefully we'll see how that goes. Anyway, if you clicked on this video, obviously you want to see swatches of this new stuff on my face. So without further blabbering, let's get into it. So I ordered these as soon as they launched and I just got them in the mail so I had to film for you and I have a new base on so I just put some foundation on um, I've been testing out the Sunday Riley foundation the influencer foundation um, but I just used the Fenty foundation for this video um, because I had a little bit of highlighter on and stuff and I wanted to cancel it out so right now all I have on my face is the Fenty foundation and some bronzer just to give my skin dimension on my eyes is the new Kat Von D 10 year anniversary palette. I also want you guys to know that I am filming after work so it's a good thing you guys can't smell me because I have been trying to clean my house and do the dishes and feed myself and just so many things to take care of. Anyway, let's get started. I was so conflicted about buying this because I actually have Trophy Wife and I was really enjoying this when I first got it uh, but as you can see I've barely made a dent in this. It is a very unique shade and I've honestly seen it. I've heard a lot of people with light skin tones kind of say they're worried to buy this because they're worried this won't be suitable on their skin but I actually went to like a Sephora event the day Fenty like the Fenty line launched and I went with um, one of my subscribers um, and she is super super pale like very porcelain and they put this on her and it looked really cool on her so I just wanted to tell you guys in case you're worried about these like crazy colored highlighters I've seen this one on somebody with very fair skin and it looked bomb anyway um, so what I like about this highlighter it is a unique color it's very cool the thing is with these highlighters, and I don't know if it's just me, once you get them on the skin, they are very, very glittery. So after a little while, I feel like the opacity of the highlighter falls off and you're just left with like a bunch of glitter on your face. That's just something to keep in mind. Now, I only got one of the shades and I believe you can use these on your um, eyes as well as your face. And I do see on here that it is made in Canada and has a nine month shelf life. I do love this packaging. I haven't opened any of this stuff yet. So you are seeing it for the first time, just like I am. This new packaging does not seem to have the same opalescent vibe as the original packaging. I don't see it unless like the lights are so bright, I, it's like flashing. And I got, I think this is the one everyone was going for, Mimosa Sunrise and Sangria Sunset. <sighs> This is what it looks like. It's very, very beautiful. I hope my light's not washing it out. And basically, I just wanted to swatch these for you. So, uh, yeah, let's put them on my face because I have no highlighter on. Gosh, it's like crumbly. My, like, one shade Mimosa Sunrise is a little bit crumbly. Let's swatch them for you quick, really quick with the fingers. Ooh, that's different. So, wow. Okay, uh, these are not, Mimosa Sunrise is a little bit less glittery and the pink one which is Sangria Sunset feels more like Trophy Wife just like based on texture so yeah okay let's get to swatching so I'm going to use my handy dandy trusty Real Techniques brush and let's go into Sangria Sunset first so I just did two swipes and oh wow what do you guys think i'm kind of living for the highlight i feel like this would be such a fun like night out on the town kind of deal i know it's a lot i mean like i don't think you could wear this to like work unless you have a cool job but let's put a little bit more on what the heck what do you guys think? I love it in the viewfinder. 
it looks more natural there. Um, in the mirror, I know it looks a little bit crazy, but that's okay. Boom. Okay, so that's the one. And then I want to do the other color. And I was going to use, because I haven't even opened these yet, and uh, I was going to use Angelica's brush set. I know she had a highlighter brush in here, so I want to try it out and see. And I've never used Sigma brushes before. This is pretty soft. And this is the Sigma High Cheekbone Highlighter F03. Um, okay, so here it is. Oh my gosh. What do you guys think? That one kind of looks a little more natural on my skin tone. So there it is. This is the Kilowatt Highlighter in Mimosa Sunrise and Sangria Sunset. So I think, like most people, I was very worried about how wearable these shades would be. I definitely think the Mimosa Sunrise is a lot more wearable than I had originally anticipated. And this, I think, would be a really fun look uh, for the summertime. And then I was trying to think of what shades would be comparable in my collection. Now this is the Juvia's Place, the Saharan Blush Volume 1, and this is kind of their blush palette that's built for darker skin so obviously this doesn't have any shimmer in it because these two blushes are matte uh, but they are beautiful and you could always top them with a shimmery highlighter um, so not very similar but just some other options in case you guys weren't looking to purchase this and then I just wanted to show you this highlighter which is the new Becca Dreamsicle highlighter um, I know when I was looking at purchasing this one it looked so orange and I know a lot of people were worried like how suitable this would be on their skin tone but I feel like this one almost looks like a champagne on your skin and so I just wanted to show you guys a comparison in case you guys were curious or already have the Becca one but yeah very cool so let me just put on I want a little bit of highlighter on my nose cupid's lower and yeah, I think the orange one is very wearable for me. And of course, you guys notice I don't have any lip product on. So let me open up the packaging for the lip stuff. This is the Iridescent Lip Luminizer Trio. There's two trios. I picked this one because the swatches just looked a little bit more. The other one seemed a little more, I don't know, colorful. And these ones just look closer to like darker skin tone so these are gorgeous hopefully you can see they all have different shifts to them maybe I'll put on this pink one I'm gonna put one on my lips and then I'm gonna swatch the rest of my hand this is called a uh, Vey Cray and it's like a beautiful pinky gold shade I like the packaging this looks a lot like the Colourpop packaging it's just a fat paddle or a flat paddle and uh This one's like a straight up gold iridescent color. What do you guys think? It's different. I definitely don't think I own anything like this. Let me give you guys a hand swatch. Where should I swatch it? Um, maybe over here. So it definitely pulls more gold. Like, there's definitely a flip in it. So, very gorgeous and different. I don't have anything like it. This one is a, like, a purpley, pinky blue. So, if you guys are into, like, holo. Oh, wow. This one is, I've never seen a lip gloss like this. Do you guys see that? I feel like a lot of people will really like these because they're a little bit different, you know? Uh, not so much like mainstream <laughs> as a lot of other things in this world. Oh, and I'm sorry, this one, the blue one, is called 
what is this called? Mermaid Thighs. <laughs> That's an interesting name. And then this is like a greeny red, and this is called Snake Skin. That's a pretty good name. So they all have like a different base and then a lot of shimmer. But I would definitely say these are dual chromes. So there are the three shades. Hopefully my lights aren't. Let me try and show you guys. Can you see that? There they are. So yeah, those are my swatches. And kind of like a first impression, I love this so much. I wonder what it'll look like when I look at the footage in <laughs> editing. Um, but formula feels great. I'm definitely interested to see what these feel like. So far, the lip gloss does not feel sticky. Um, I'll need to compare it to the gloss bomb. I forgot about that. I don't know why that is in my collection right now. But yeah, hopefully you guys found this video useful and entertaining. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'm definitely leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you picked anything up from this collection and what your thoughts are on this collection. Thanks guys, bye!